be exploring another multiplication concept. This concept called an array. 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 Say it with me. Array. array. Good. Say it again. Array. Do any of you know what an array is? No. You've been just, practicing a little bit on your homework. Yes. Um, like, like, like a row in a row. Mm-hmm. You so have rows and columns of, of objects. So an array is another way of saying grid. Right? Where you have rows of objects. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be researching candy box designs. Uh, I'm very excited. We're not going to be doing it with actual candy today. Maybe tomorrow. We're going to be using these square tiles, these colored tiles, to represent candy. The way that we're going to do that, remember these digit cards that we used when we yeah. played digit place a couple yeah. weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be drawing these. They have numbers on both sides. They go from about 4 up to 30, because I thought those would be the best numbers for you to be working with. You're going to pick out a number, like I picked 14, and that's going to represent how many of these tiles you pick up with your partner. So I'm not going to use the tiles because I'm going to show you up here on the board because it's bigger and clearer, but I'm going to draw them tiles with this marker, so I'm going to make little squares. So who can think of a way that I could make a grid or an array of 14 tiles, or 14 candies. Yes? Ten and four? That could be a way. So I'd make blue circles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Where do you want me to put the four? Down underneath? Like it? See, that's a good point that you bring up, because remember we're making candy boxes. Is it, have you ever seen a candy box that looks like that? No. No? No? So what we're going to be focusing on, what we're going to be focusing on our arrays are trying to make rectangles. You remember rectangles? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have four straight sides and four right angles. What about that? What shape would you call that? Square. Is it also a rectangle? Yes. Yes. But are all rectangles squares? No. Now if I have this rectangle, but I make it this way. Is that the same? Yes. Why? Because, uh, because the top one is, is this straight, and the other one is this straight. Right. So you're just rotating it, right? It's like if I took this and just moved it like that. Yeah, uh-huh. So that's called congruent. Remember that from our our geometry a few months ago? Yeah. Congruent. That means they're the same. They're equal. Okay? So let's think about the number 14 again. We're working with 14 candies. What can we have two equal groups of to make it a rectangle? Yes. Seven and seven. Seven and seven. So I could make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. So that could be a candy box, right? You can do it straight. Oh, you could do it. Say that again. You can do it straight. You can do it across too, right? You could do it like. Oh, it's coming by twos now. Say that again. It's counting by twos now. Yeah, you're counting by twos. Remember from circles and stars at the beginning of this week, we talked about how when you add the same quantity or repeated addition, remember that? It's just like multiplication. So this way we could say it's twos. We have how many rows? This is a row. How many rows do we have? Two. Two. Two rows. And how many in each row? Two. Seven. Seven. So that would be a two by seven array. So that by? That's the that X. That's good. Just like in multiplication. Remember I had you make that sign? It's time tables. It's times. But you would read that. If you were to say it in words, it would be two by 
five, seven. What about this one? I want you to think about it. Think what that would be. How many rows are there? And how many in each row? And turn and tell your partner. So that's, like he said, two by two. 